Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you the bizarre case of Facebook banning a singer from putting their own music on Facebook. Now, Duffy is a famous Welsh singer that released an album, I believe in 2008, called Rock Ferry. When it was released, it sold more copies than any other album that year in Britain. And is considered one of the best retro albums of all time. What I mean by a retro album, for those learning English, is an album where it consists of brand new songs. It consists of brand new songs performed in an old style. OK. For example, when um, Portugal won the Eurovision, for example, with an old style jazz song, that would be considered a retro song for something because it's not modern. She basically brought out songs in, I believe, 2008, um, which sounded like they come from the 1960s. OK. For copyright reasons, I will provide a link to music by her, which you can hear, if you can hear it in your country, okay? And that she was famous for. Anyway, she released an album, which did very well. She released a second album, which didn't do very well at all. Then she practically disappeared for about 10 years or something like that in real terms. Tried to make some sort of comeback, but I don't think it happened because everybody had moved on by then. Anyway, she tried to put some of her own new new music on Facebook. Let's see what happens when you try to access it. Now, this is, well, see it's got the word Duffy. It's got the blue tick, which means this is an official certified Facebook page. OK, you'll see it's got the F there for the Facebook. This is actually on Facebook. Now let's scroll down. So it's got some Instagram content, which isn't available, but we won't worry about that for now. We'll scroll past that. And here we go. Here we have an entry by Duffy. And you'll notice it's got her sitting down. I believe it's some sort of music track or something like that. OK, that she wanted her fans to hear. So let's see what happens when we actually try to play this song that she herself put on Facebook, right, featuring herself singing. Partially muted due to copyright claim. Now that is not something that YouTube has put up. Okay, that is not YouTube trying to block my content, okay? And just to prove it, you can see me constantly talking over it. And if, and as you see, if, for example, um, YouTube was blocking my comment, I wouldn't be able to constantly talk over that. It would not be possible for me to do it. OK, I can also constantly move the mouse just to show you that I am not editing this. So you can see it plays, but it's completely muted. You hear like two seconds and that's it. So it's a bizarre example of Facebook actually banning people from listening to a singer singing their own song, from what I can understand, on Facebook, on their own official Facebook page. Now to me, this is censorship gone mad. Maybe she had some sort of legal falling out with the record label that she used. Maybe, I don't know, there was some... I do not know the reason why and this would happen. But I'm absolutely baffled by it, truthfully. But, um, you know, because you would think if she didn't want people to hear it herself, she would have simply removed it. 
Um, so unless somehow she has suddenly censored it herself and she's changed her mind and she doesn't want people to hear this music anymore, which is the only other alternative I can think of, maybe she's just decided to leave the music industry altogether, or maybe she's self-censored. But I would think that if she's going to self-censor, she would at least have left a comment saying that. Also, you, given that, you know, there's some comments on it, she could have simply deleted the entry. But... No, it seems that Facebook have decided to ban her from um, publishing her own music on Facebook. To me, it's censorship gone bananas, unless she did it herself. But there may be some reasons, maybe a falling out of the record label over copyright um, terms i don't know maybe they had some disagreement about money i have no idea i have no idea why facebook have done this i have no idea what company has made the copyright claim in order to ban this i'm astonished at this to me it is censorship gone mad um but i do not know the precise details as to why and furthermore, I'm surprised that the issue was not resolved um, so that people could, in fact, hear the track. But I know, as I said, in, in the late 2000s, she was a global phenomenon. And then she became a has-been, effectively, with nobody really listening to her music anymore. I know, I believe she did um, a cut perhaps a small a few songs for a film I believe she came back and did a few songs for a film in some way um, I can't remember all the details but in the minds of the public they probably wouldn't even know the film they probably wouldn't even remember uh, in that at all they probably didn't even know she was in the film they just know that she brought out this fantastic retro album and then to, in the eyes of the public practically disappeared forever to most although she did try to come back about 10 years later but by then the public just weren't really interested to be very honest with you okay and but anyway um so that's my astonishing um story for today facebook banning a singer not based on you know controversial lyrics or anything like that but based on copyright apparently um when to my knowledge she in real terms <coughs> is the copyright holder or is directly associated with the production of the of the music so what do you think guys should she be banned from letting the public listen to her own music assuming that's what happened Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.